Oh gosh, I would love to see more attention to food and agriculture. Okay. Um, that's an area where I know both FDA and USDA have done a lot of really great work on the physical infrastructure side. And in mm. fact, that's one of the areas that really ignited uh, a passion for me about uh, the infrastructure security for food and ag. Um, I think when you think about the same sort of manufacturing processes that are happening in food processing, um, you can have introduction just on the physical side. They can easily, well, easily, quote unquote, there's ways to introduce contaminants and that yes. sort of thing. Think about that from a, uh, a cyber impact. So if you were having a physical introduction of a contaminant, what if you're having somebody introducing a data element that is telling you something is true when something is actually not true? Mm. Or if you are having... Uh, a lot of people think of farming practices. They think mom and pop out on the, you know, on the farm. Oh, right. Combines are now automated right? and they are connected. And a lot of these things are controlled by uh, potentially even a smart device. So mm -hmm. some, you know, food and eggs being innovated, really interesting by uh, mobile technology. Mm. I think um, when you're looking at that particular sector, I think that's one that nobody really thinks about as critical infrastructure in yeah. that it would be something that is life-sustaining or life-saving. But manufacturing processes are very similar to just traditional manufacturing mm. processes, things that have never been intended to be connected or being connected um, for good business reasons. Mm -hmm. And I think it, you, know, you apply that to other sectors that are not necessarily on the radar. Healthcare is getting more press, but it's the same yeah. sort of concept. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, I guess that that was interesting. I, I I think I'm hearing you right, but you're saying in addition to like it's not just a matter of like a hacker takes out the agriculture grid, quote unquote, uh, right. you know, and no more food comes out, but they can sort of tamper with like the sort of like food safety aspects of it, or or you know, create false I positives know or false negatives. So you know, yeah. I don't want any of the food safety guys to come after me saying, "Oh, it's not possible." Oh, okay, um. <laughs> but it's, it's conceivably possible. Correct. Yeah. Um, you know, what we're talking about is things that are, so we're not just talking about physical devices being impacted themselves. Then we are talking about that and may, you know, having devices do things that they're not supposed to be doing. Right. But we're also talking about data manipulation. So the, the trick with industrial IOT is that you're taking a device that may not be talking to a person. You mm -hmm. may making the, a person may eventually be making decisions, but there can be a device talking to a device, talking to another device, talking to the cloud. And maybe then there are some critical decisions being made based off of that data. Mm. Where in that data chain have you validated that that data from the original data point and data source is right. accurate, that the originating device was not in some way corrupted or manipulated, or that the data in transit was not somehow corrupted or manipulated. These are the things that keep me up at night. 